Paul may be changing over to snow later tonight. So much, much colder air behind this front. Not a whole lot of moisture with either one of them, particularly this one, as the Gulf of Mexico pretty closed here with this high pressure centered over the Gulf. Low pressure, as we'll mention, off the New England coast, this nor'easter, slowly moving away and kind of relinquishing its wind impact here along the coast. All marine advisories have been pretty much dropped for the uh, mid-Atlantic and the New England coastal areas. Some light rain, low clouds around the Cape this morning, but we do think that this will be coming to an end again as the area of low pressure moves away. Afternoon highs generally in the 50s, some 60s here in Philadelphia and near Baltimore and Dover, Delaware. Pretty nice day shaping up for you, Atlanta. Sunny conditions, readings in the middle. All of this will be moving east toward Cleveland for the third game of the series. Who won the game last night, Will? Okay, it's tied. We'll be right back. It is about 15 after the hour. Time to check on the forecast for your weekend. Let's begin, though, with the average afternoon highs this time of year. And typically, we find readings in the 50s over the northern tier of the country. And, of course, the farther south you go, the warmer it gets. 80s mainly confined to southern Texas, central southern Florida, and southern California and Arizona. Let's show you. And we'll find rain with southerly winds ahead of it from the Dallas-Fort Worth area to Oklahoma City. And then snow by week's end around Denver and the Black Hills of South Dakota. Your local conditions coming up. Just Good morning. 40 minutes after the hour. Time to check on the traveling conditions for you on this early Monday morning. And we wake up dry weather most everywhere. We have some light rain here right near the Cape Cod area east of I-95. This is not touching the ground. So everywhere else we're talking about dry conditions this morning. Of course, this is some lighter showers with our little system swinging across eastern Ohio. This is just the preliminary polar cold front. Our next one will be swinging across this area by tomorrow. And behind that one, we're talking about some snow near the Cleveland area. This one may bring some light uh, rain showers in upstate New York, northern Vermont, and New Hampshire over the Connecticut River Valley later today. Nothing... Uh, to write home about. It shouldn't be all that terribly bad for you if you're traveling over the northeast. And even across the southeast, the mid-Atlantic, these interstates looking good from Atlanta down to Tampa and over to Panama City. Some light rain, maybe areas out west, it looks pretty good. Interstate 55 and the Pacific Coast Highway, no problems. No threat of strong or severe storms as we're working toward, of course, uh, the heart of winter season, so we start to see less and less of severe weather and way from Japan. We'll keep you posted, of course, on Ivan as well as Joan. Stay with us. Weather Scope is next.